out of your system. Yeah, I had to burp first before we started. Uh, welcome to a Let's Play of... Uh, um, Motor Tune Grand Prix. Hello? There we go. Ba, 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 ba. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong. So, so, so I actually had the English version of this back in the day. Um, and it is completely different. Do we, do we need names? Perfect. Yes? Uh, how did you move up and down? There we go. Don't matter. You just had to fill it up. Uh, uh, I guess we have to do a match race or a duel race. This menu is so different. Uh, match, match? race? Uh, three laps. Three laps? Yeah. Yeah, alright. Uh, this one, so, sure. Wait, what? Uh, so, Rocky is the default? The red guy? And I used to play with the ship. Long time ago. Push a button to start, though. So, what game is this? Like, why why does it exist? What's it from? It's, uh, it's a cartoon racing game. It's low violence, so it can be sold in China. Oh, okay. Yeah. Back when you were a little Chinese boy, I guess. Yep. So there's supposed to be like power ups on the track that we can pick up? I have not seen a single thing except N for polygons. No, this level is completely different. There used to be like a casino track, like Sonic the Hedgehog kind of thing, where you could drive over coins and it would like give you the weapon and stuff. Maybe. Maybe it's. This version they had to be like. Okay, oh, no violence. I bet you it was Motor Tune 2 has all the good stuff on it, and they just called it one for North America. Oh my god, like they do with everything. Yeah. It's like, oh, we didn't release the first one for you guys, like so... Fire Emblem? Yeah. Or Final Fantasy? Yeah. Like, so you actually picked the hardest guy to play. Why is he so hard? No Because he's got the word. Yeah, he's got really poor steering, but he's got really good acceleration. Oh... But everyone seems to have the same max speed. I mean, I guess. Like, when we were both going as fast as we could, side by side, there was no one going ahead. 300 kilometers. Gotta go fast. <laughs> God, I don't remember this track at all. This is a bizarre game. And the... <clears throat> The loading is really weird too. Like, there's no, uh, like, level boundaries. Everything just pops into place. Yeah. You don't get to see a lot in front of you, though. No. But you get to see enough. Barely. So, cartoons. What cartoons did you enjoy as a kid? Um, back in the day, we didn't have uh, cable TV. We had, like, over the air. Yes. So we had 13 channels, because our TV had a dial on it. We didn't have, like, a VCR. Yeah. <laughs> so we had uh, ABC and, and KTLA5. Mm -hmm. um, uh, what is now Global TV. So, like, the news station. Uh, PBS. Uh, uh, we had a sports channel. I can't remember what it was. Huh. Uh, yeah, not a whole <laughs> lot. And then a couple blank ones. This yeah, was like... I, I was a cable-less lad for quite a while. Yeah, I, I'm thinking like 96, 97. My childhood. Yeah. So, when I was a young little... Uh, Whippersnapper? Whippersnipper, right, snipper whapper. I, uh, when you were being told to get off people's lawns? Never had... TV until I was like maybe five and my parents got internet and then as soon as they got internet for some explicable reason the TV started working and I went upstairs and I was like the TV works TV works and they're like shut up <laughs> <laughs> we're trying to play solitaire yeah. I'm like on the computer oh okay I, I, I see why you want me to hush hush yeah. I think Pirate? I was a naive kid and Every day I would check all the channels to see if we had TV. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And then, inexplicably, as soon as they got internet, there was, uh, extra TV channels. Oh, interesting. Yeah. 
but uh, I, mean. I had TV on and off through my childhood, so most of what I watched was like at my grandparents' place and stuff, where they had cable. What would we do, match race or duel race? Uh, let's do duel. Holy crap. Oh. That is totally oh, different. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, no, not five laps. No. You monster. What no. are you doing? You did that. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh. So triangle is back. Okay. Match race. Yeah. One lap. <laughs> uh, no, no handicap? No, and... that's the, the catch-up mode. Hmm. Okay. All right. Let's take one of the very few cars. Um, so what I mostly watched was friggin' I guess the stuff that was on PBS and then other times I'd watch like Spongebob and all that junk. Man. Oh crap, ice track. Alright. Ooh, this is like a jelly car. Yeah, it's really good when you have steering, huh? Woo! Why can't I go straight? Yeah, I used to watch uh, ABC a lot because they had like uh, Saturday morning cartoons. So I'd get up like right at the crack of 6 a.m. to watch yeah. whatever they had. So it was like Goof Troop and Gargoyles and like the Disney block had uh, uh, Tailspin and Darkwing Duck and... Oh, you lucky. Yeah, we had the, like what cartoons used to be. Yeah, uh, like I used to Bonkers watch... and uh, DuckTales... I think I used to watch like YTV or something. The the Mighty Ducks cartoon. Had a uh, raw tunage for a little bit. So, yeah. I think I used to watch a show called uh... Aladdin, Little Mermaid. Oh, I miss those. To Tum Pumba. I used to watch stuff like Dragon Riders. Yep. That was such a Dragon short-lived Riders. show as well. Uh, cause they had like a. The, there was a girl show and a boy show, and Dragon Riders was the, the boy show. And the other really? one was Sky Dancers. Yeah. And they were like little uh, ripcord tops that would like spin in the air. Oh. But people kept launching them at each other. Well, yeah, because they're a projectile. Yeah. Yeah. Um, go. No, go back. Three laps. Two laps. Three. Three. Let's do something. Uh, uh, ancient, ancient City. city. This will be the last one. Okay. Last race. Yeah. For all the marbles. What? What? He went back? What? Okay. Weird. You can go back from the push start menu. It says push any button to start. Yeah. And you, you push a button. No, no, no. goes nah. back. That's, that's not the start button. Any button is not triangle. Or square. Yeah, it's a circle. Wow, yeah, you guys are way faster than I am. Wowzers. Oof. That steering, yo. Oh, we can actually look behind us. Yeah. Why would you need... Ooh. Oh, yeah, I guess if you have power-ups or something. If there are power-ups, this is just generic racing the game. There's, like, actual proper levels with AI and stuff. Somewhere. Somewhere. Not here. Locked behind a paywall. Not Yeah. You know, Paywall being the cost of the friggin' disc. Yeah, I despise microtransactions when they are invasive. I hate waiting for timers. Timers I can put up with, because the timer's like, okay, means I can take a break from this, I don't need to spend all my time doing it, whereas up to something where it's like, oh, you can't really purchase this item or acquire it whatsoever without real-life currency. I'm thinking about like the Electronic Arts version of Dungeon Keeper for iOS, where you can get through the tutorial in five minutes, and then your first block to break to start building your dungeon is a day. A day? Yeah. Okay, that's really invasive. And you can only break really one block scummy. at a time. That's so scummy. Yeah. And then you have to like build stuff to get more monsters and traps and stuff, and they take a day. Oh. Each. Yeah, they really go right off the bat into, yep. hey, I want your money, hand it over. The one I've seen that handles it the best is Clash of Clans, believe it or not. 
Yeah? Because they make so much money, they really don't care. <laughs> I've heard a lot of horror stories about people being like, yeah, I spent like 300 bucks on Clash of Clans and there was a, now I don't even play it. A story I heard about an MMA fighter who would play Clash of Clans with $100 a day. That was his budget. Oh my god. Well, I guess if you could afford it, but still, that's... Like, so much. That was his thing to unwind, though, was Clash of Clans. That's uh, all he did on his downtime. That. <sighs> but if you play, like, the other Supercell games, like Boom Beach, does it worse? Or uh, Battle. Oh. The, your, uh, their card battle game, um, Clash Royale? It's even worse. It's harder and harder to get, like, premium currency and unlockables, and everything's worsely timed. So conversely with this uh, little tangent, uh -huh. uh, what do you think of like cards? So that's similar well, to like Gwent or uh... yeah, sim like Gwent or are we Magic. talking like physical card games or digital? Yeah, card physical games? card games. We can also branch off into uh, digital card. So games. much faster than I am. But uh, what do you think of that? What do you think of? I hate them just in general. You As hate a them rule. in general. Yep. As a rule. Because it's very similar to the loot boxes, it, except it, it it's is more loot physical. Box. It's yeah. exactly what it is. It's just they cannot uh, precisely... It, it's not gambling because you can resell your cards. And because you're paying for something and you're getting... Yeah, you're getting an actual physical thing. Yeah, but... Uh... Like, imagine getting a Black Lotus from Magic the Gathering. You have $1,000 in your hand. Yeah. The thing is, though, with... Uh, you should try the uh, one player. Go all the way back. Triangle. Okay, triangle. The thing is with the... Uh... Oh, too far. Oh, oh, oh. okay. Uh, Same step, one player. With the uh, cards, they cannot advertise to you or be super manipulative in the same way. You have to be able to, like, earn the currency somehow. You can't just outright buy them. Yeah. Yeah, this is way different than the motor tune I used to play. But you can change your camera angle with a uh, L two and R two, or L one and R one. I would really like to get into card games and stuff, but so much of an investment. Um, what are you thinking of playing? I don't know, like. Because if you want to go digital, there's the Yu-Gi-Oh card game, which is really good with getting cards. Yeah? What's yeah. the method they go about for that? Is it you play matches and you um, just work up to packs, or...? It's a, a gem system that you can get gems every day. You get gems from special events, you get gems for playing matches, you get gems for... You can essentially get um, a new pack every couple days. Okay. If you do, like, every event. But and I hear that game is a lot more streamlined in the way that... Uh, it's a really big it learning curve. Everything. If you've never, yeah, if you've never played any of it, it like has all the rules, all the cards are properly labeled, like they're still updating and it's patched every couple of days. It seems like. Uh, but if you want to get anywhere, you have got to buy an entire box, which is fourteen dollars, but it's like ninety cards. Oh wow! Yeah. So that's like something you could actually competitively be viable with, or. Oh yeah. And they even have, like, deck builder systems where you can, like, submit a deck and then other people can figure out how to build the deck and then where the booster they need for that card is and build your deck that way. Oh, okay. It, yeah, yeah, I, I kind of want to get into, like, card games just because I want something to look forward to collecting. Y yeah, you probably want, like, a physical card then. Yeah. Um, magic's the way to go, but... Around it's, here, you're going to be hard-pressed to find a person to play with. Let alone finding cards, yeah. unless you're going online. Um, uh, a, a box can fetch you 90 to $130. Wow. Yeah. What the hell was that? I don't know. I think I skipped off the geometry a bit. I think you used a, an ability. I don't have any abilities. This is really hard to look at. It's so hard to play. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying my best not to be all swerving around on the sides of walls and junk. Um, speaking of card games, uh, I mentioned Gwent earlier. Yes. It's based on The Witcher. Yeah. There's a standalone version for PC or 
Yeah, I heard it's really good. It's different than The Witcher 3 game. Good. And there's a lot more cards. The, some of the cards even work different. Good. Yeah. That one's a it's bit strange. Very competitive, but it's also very, very expensive to get into. Uh, the Steam one that lasted only for a little bit, it's gone now. Oh, uh, Artifacts? Yeah. I heard about uh, people streaming quote-unquote artifact matches. Yep. Where it was all just like, oh, this is just Avengers Endgame with the tiniest, tiniest, smallest resolution of a pre-recorded game of uh, artifacts. Or uh, straight-up porn. Yeah. Yeah. They were and doing Discord memes and... was like talking about it yeah. and Twitch just ignored it, I guess. Or they even had a few uh, uh, of their higher-ups just watching just because. So now you can't even start a, a, a new account and stream right away. You have to wait like... Uh, 48 hours what? and some even are like uh, two-factor right away oh yeah that's weird. so if you don't do two-factor you can't enable streaming because they can lock your two-factor device oh yeah. okay okay that's it, it's silly. more effective than like ip bands because you can change your ip address but you can't change your second factor device yes. okay that that explains also why they use those second factor all the time for mm -hmm. everything. Hooray. <laughs> Fifth? Question mark? That's your name. I know. It just looks funny. Well, I guess that was... Uh, That's Motor Tune 1 for the... Motor Tune Grand Prix? Japanese PS1. Yeah, thanks for watching, and everybody. talking about card games and stuff. Yeah. If you want, I got actually like a physical game you can borrow with cards in it if you want to learn how to play something. Maybe. Yeah, I'll let you do. All right. Uh, bye bye. Maybe we can play it on stream one day. You can oh, teach me how to play it. That would be fun. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. See ya.